I know that you guys love when the topic of the video is PDF, and that's what we are doing today. A first soft PDF is a reader, but it's also an editor. You can annotate, there is uh, OCR, you can even create a PDF, and of course, there is AI to help you by summarizing your PDFs. So let's take a look at the main features of a first PDF. This is how it looks without any PDFs. So let's drag some PDFs into this area here. And the first feature you see here are the tabs. Each PDF has its own tab. And if we go to the main tab here, now we have the four PDFs here. Okay. However, they are still in my desktop. These are the exact files I have here. And if I want to, I can click here to delete, rename, open. There are many options here. And also upload to my cloud. Okay, now that we have all the PDFs here, let's make this full screen. Let's go to a PDF here and take a look at the reading options. All the way down here, you can zoom in and zoom out. There's also uh, different options to display the pages. For example, you can choose this one here. I prefer single page, so I'll keep it like this. But one thing that I always like to have on PDF readers is this. I prefer the thumbnails. I, I think it's easier to go to a page because you can see what the page looks like. But of course, you can go down here on this uh, toolbar and go jump to a specific page. Just type the number here. For example, let's say we want to go to 25. We can type 25 here and jump to 25. Okay, let's go all the way up again. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, let's select part of the text here. And as soon as you select it, you see some options here. For example, I can highlight it or I can underline it. Or if I select the highlight feature, I can just select the text and that will automatically highlight that section. From here, we can click edit to add a text. Let's say I want to change this from EU to European Union. Or you can go to the edit menu and here you have even more options. And what about converting this to, let's say, a doc? Of course, there's a way to do that. Let's go to the convert menu and here you have many options. So let's choose Word. Yes, I want to, to save the changes. And from here, you can also select a different format. Let's use DocX. Okay, here we have the DocX. Let's drag it to Google Drive and open it. Looks pretty good to me. I, I like it. Another thing you might want to do is rearrange pages. So let's click this page item here. From here, you can simply drag the page to another position and that's it. For example, let's drag this one all the way to number one here. Let's go back to the PDF now and here it is. It's not something that we see a lot these days, but remember those PDFs that were not typed? They were scans. Let's try this one here. Uh, I scanned a uh, manual and here it is. So as you see, this is just a, a paper that I scanned. Let's try this here. And from here, you can select current page or all pages, English. Oh, there are many languages here. <laughs> okay, let's try the, yeah, let's, let's use English and see what's going to happen here. Let's convert this to, let's try text. Convert. Yes, 
here we have it. Yeah, it looks like it is correct. Okay, let's do what you are probably all waiting for. Let's try this one here and click here. AI, start, agree. Oh, I didn't know this one was also <laughs> a scan. So let's do this. All pages. Let's do both at the same time. Okay, now that it is uh, converted, so we can even select text. Let's do the AI again. Start. Okay. Yeah, I think it did a good job. Let's ask something. What are the names of the authors? Gloria and Daniela. Yeah. Okay, let's find something here. Okay, I found something that we can ask and check. 48 subjects participated. Okay, let's ask how many subjects participated. 48. It looks like the AI didn't get mad at me with the all caps, <laughs> but I'm sorry for that. It was an accident. I accidentally hit the key here. You know what? You should try it. You can do it for free. It works on Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and even online. You'll find a link below, which will also give you 30% discount on the pro version. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon.